Hi guys, welcome back to another blog of Excel Help. I must uh, first apologize that I was not there for quite a while. Uh, well, now here I'm back. Let us continue with the chapter two, and you will be getting more of my videos explaining how to use Excel in a much easier way. So, in this video, we are going to cover what are operators, the different operators in Excel. Uh, operator precedence, formulas which are using functions, how to use the references, and how do you define ranges. So let's start with the operators. So there are basically 12 operators, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponenti ex exponentiation, concatenation, this is equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to. These are the corresponding symbols for these particular operators. Now, I believe we have already covered uh, how to use these operators in the previous video, which I will place it in the, the link will be placed in the description. And you can go through that video as well. So, let us uh, proceed uh, with operator precedence. Operator precedence is something similar to what we studied uh, in our school, uh, which is nothing but board mass, which means bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. But in Excel, it gives priority in this particular manner. Uh, priority one is for exponenti exponentiation. Uh, number two is for multiplication or division. Three is addition and subtraction. Four is concatenation. Then uh, five you will have equal to, less than and greater than. So when I say precedence, uh, what I mean to say is, we'll explain it with an example. Now I've taken three numbers here in three different cells. Now what I'll do is I will go ahead and subtract D13 with E13 and then I will go ahead and multiply it with F13. Uh, so the result with the brackets is 14. So if I don't use any brackets, This is the result that you will get. So the accuracy uh, in getting the correct number is very important uh, in our line of work. Uh, that's the reason why parenthesis uh, is mandatory and it has to be used every time. When I say our line of work, I'm talking to those people who are basically into, uh, you know, uh, man management information system like MIS or WFM. Or people who have actually use Excel for a minor reporting purpose when their actual uh, job description says different other than MIS or WFM. So here are the different uh, um, operator precedents. This is just a good to know information because when you are uh, practically working in an Excel, you will actually use uh, the formulas based on your requirement by putting in the brackets uh, accurately and we will go ahead in the uh, explaining all that in the subsequent chapters so let's move on or move on to formulas which use uh, functions right so let me explain this out to you I have taken an example here uh, with numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 10 now what I've done is I've gone ahead and added all these numbers and then I've divided it. This will basically give me the average which is nothing but 5.5. Now if you look at the length of this formula is like you will have to go adding individually to each of these cells here. So this is a tedious work. Uh, so a function is there that will be used uh, to actually get the average of this and that function is actually called equals average uh, function so the syntax for that is something similar to this we have written it down previously 
equals average you have to select the range i2 is to i11 and once you hit enter you will get the same value as 5.5 similarly you have other functions like max max of uh, uh, the you know the data range of the one selected it will tell you the maximum value uh, which is equal to 10 there are other uh, uh, functions which are related to text where uh, you, we, you know proper function will actually capitalize the first word of all the other words first letter of all the other words sorry uh, the first letter of all the other words in that particular cell upper it means it is going to capitalize all the words in that particular cell and lower will cap i mean it will bring it to a lower case of all the words in that particular cell the example here i have just given bj which is all in lower case if i use proper it will capitalize the letter b and keep the j in lower case upper with the same example it made cap b as in caps and j as well in caps and lower case uh, b uh, and j both are in lower case so let's move on to uh, the references when i say references it is references is related to uh, placing a dollar symbol and locking that particular cell when you are writing a formula so there are three different uh, references which is relative absolute and mixed relative is means there is no dollar symbol uh, yeah let before i proceed to that uh, when i say alphabet or number it means it is corresponding to a particular cell like this which is n7 so the relative uh, reference means dollar is not placed either before the alphabet or before the number so it will look something like this this is an example of relative now absolute means there is a dollar placed before the letter and before the number which looks something like this this is absolute uh, reference wherein there is a dollar uh, before the letter and before the number and mix is there is only one dollar either before the alphabet or before the number that comes something like this this is now before the number and now this is before the letter the purpose of this is um, something uh, related to um, your uh, formulas uh, where the ranges shouldn't shift uh, when you are copy pasting the formulas in the next um, upcoming cells that as well we will go ahead and cover in the upcoming classes in a small just i will explain to you what i am trying to say here now this is relative where i have not given a dollar symbol it says m2 now if i copy and paste it here this has gone shifted to the next column which is n2 so when there is no dollar you copy paste it, the formula will automatically shift to the corresponding uh, next cell if you have moved it by one column in absolute there is a dollar symbol Uh, before the letter and the number so when i do a copy and paste it here it will be the same there is no shift because the dollar is not made the formula to move away from the corresponding cell now here is mixed mixed i'm putting a dollar before the number and if i do a copy and paste this is getting shifted to the next cell but the number still remains the same now if the dollar is before the alphabet if i do a copy and paste 
the number or the cell reference will still be the same because the letter has not been allowed to shift when the formula is shifted. So we will be covering this in detail when we go ahead and start working on uh, the other complex formulas like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, IF conditions and all that. So let's move on to defining the range um, for a particular say uh, a range which is that we can you know instead of selecting the range like here what we have done selecting this range we can actually define this range how do we do that uh, so the shortcut to go to define range is alt i n and d which is mentioned here i'll click on new i will say test I will actually select the range and click on OK. I'll close this. Now we'll take the same example of the function which is average. I will type here as equals average test. And if I hit enter, these two are the same. <laughs> so this is how you actually define ranges. Um, again, we will be talking about this more in our other complex formulas like VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs, uh, XLOOKUP, and uh, <clears throat> using if function and other uh, related functions where uh, count if as and everything so uh, there it will help you to actually uh, not toggle between various sheets and you know make mistakes in the uh, formulas you can just define the ranges and type the name of those particular ranges and get the accurate uh, results so In a um, quick snap, uh, you know, recap, we learned about operators. What are the different operators available in Excel? They are precedence. We also went through an example here, how to use the braces or the parenthesis. Then uh, formulas which use functions. We studied the different functions. That is average, max, proper, upper, lower. So there are plenty of other functions. We will learn them as we are actually, uh, when we reach the class where we start preparing our own templates, we will learn about different uh, more functions here. Then the reference, relative reference, absolute reference and mixed reference, where we are going to place the dollar for particular relative, absolute or mixed reference and their examples. And also we studied about the ranges. So hope this class has helped you uh, to understand a bit more on the Excel per se. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can obviously put it across on the comments and I will help you uh, uh, by explaining how you can actually troubleshoot those errors that you get. So also, before we sign off, do uh, like, share and subscribe uh, to my channel. So we'll be meeting soon for the next chapter. Thank you. Bye.